Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a very effective but kind of simple car paint in Eevee in under five minutes, unedited, uncut footage. So we're just going to jump right into Blender. So first we're going to just set up the scene real quick. I've got a Mustang ready here with the principal shader on the car paint. So we're going to hop over to Eevee. I already got it set up. I'm in Blender 2.9, by the way, so I updated. Um, first, we're just going to import an HDR image. Um, we can import anyone really, but I chose one from HDR Haven. I'm also going to put the link down below for you to download for free. Um, so I have to wait one second. So now we're in. Uh, the car doesn't look too spectacular. I'm just going to add a floor plane real quick. We're going to turn on ambient occlusion and screen space reflections. I think that's enough for this example. Uh, turn up the distance and the ambient occlusion. So already looks pretty good. Um, now we're going to open up the shader editor and edit the car paint. So the first thing we're going to do is a metallic car paint. We can make it red for now, or that's pink, more like red. And we could just add a clear coat like this and we're halfway done. We're going to make a little bit more cool car paint here. So first we're going to uh, create a noise texture for the orange peel in the car paint. So hook it up to the clear coat normal. We're going to add a, uh, add a bump node. Don't forget to hook it up to height. With the node wrangler, control T, we can, oh, it's off actually. If my node wrangler was on, so go to add-ons, node wrangler, turn it on, then control T, we can uh, create the tiling for the object. We're going to use object tiling, so it's even around the car. Then we will actually use this tiling for now. We're going to turn down detail. We will turn down the, sh uh, not the strength, the distance actually to a very low number, even lower than this, something like this. And I've got a nice orange peel on the car paint. It's barely visible. I'll turn up the tiling a little bit. Yeah, like this. So I've got a nice orange peel on the car paint. So the next thing we're going to do are the metallic flakes. So we're going to create a Voronoi texture. I'm going to hook it up to the base color first so you see what's happening here. So basically what we're going to do is convert this to a normal map. And at the moment, as you can see by the colors, it's not a normal map. I'm also going to hook up the same tiling. So it kind of just fits the orange peel right away. Um, so we will first separate the RGB. Then we will combine the RGB, but we won't combine everything. We'll combine red, green, and blue. We're going to set to one. Now you see we've got a nice normal map here. Um, now we will use this normal map as a normal map. So we'll create a normal map node. We're going to hook that up to the normal input of the principal shader. Hook up this normal map we just created. Chop the base color again. Wait until Blender catches up. So caught up. For now, we're going to turn down roughness just to set this right. Also to have an even scale over both orange peel and flakes, I'm going to add a value node and hook it up to scale. And just put it to 15. So actually it looks pretty cool already. So it sparkles a lot, but that's not exactly what we want. So we're going to turn down the normal strength of the flakes to something like this, maybe maybe even less, we'll see, and add some roughness. And we will drop specular to 0.1, so it's a bit more red. and doesn't get this milky shade in the Fresnel, so we're just going to keep that on 0.1. And that's pretty much it. So we've got flakes, we've got the orange peel, we can actually maybe drop down the tiling even more, or drop up like this. And that's pretty much it. From now on, you can just change the colors to anything you want. You can do a dark bullet Mustang color, any color. Um, you can change the roughness. So just like you would expect, you can bump up the flakes. And that's pretty much it. This is a simple but very effective um, EV car paint. And that's it for today. Uh, see you next time. Bye.